Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Desiree, organizer, spokesperson, and mother of Julian Andrade. My life changed three years ago this month. My 20-year-old son, Julian Andrade, was brutally tortured and murdered by five suspects in May 2018. He was kidnapped, taken to a room in a house where one of the suspects lived. He was stabbed in the face with the glass pipe, beat with the metal chair, and beat with the rock until he was knocked unconscious. He was then taken up to the Azusa Canyon where they dumped my son's body off the cliff. Before leaving him for dead, there at the canyon, they continued to beat my son because they believed he was still alive. My son's face was so badly mangled that I was unable to identify him. The only way I was identifying him was by a tattoo on his hand. Before George Gascon took office, my son's killers were facing life without parole and the death penalty with special circumstance charges of kidnapping, robbery, and lie in wait. As soon as George Gascon took office, he, 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 he directed my son's prosecutors to dismiss all these special circumstance charges, which drastically changed my son's case. They are now facing 25 years and only having to do 80% of that time. When I learned about what was going to happen, I felt let down by the justice system. And me being a mother, I knew I needed to fight. I was my son's voice. This is not justice. My son's life mattered and the manner that he was taken from us deserves the ultimate punishment. The day these two charges were dismissed on two of my son's killers, my daughter and I sat in the courtroom and witnessed one of them smirking from ear to ear and one of the attorneys giving one of them a fist bump, like, good job. That was a slap in the face. My son's life was taken and my daughters were left without a brother. My reality is, is that I wake up every morning one child left. I am disgusted that George Gascon and his spokespeople dismissed this recall effort as, a part of, as partisan or political. This is far from the truth. They are once again ignoring and belittling us victims. This has nothing to do with political. Crime is a crime. Crime does not see Democrat. Crime does not see Republican. Crime does not see independent. Crime is a crime. This is an effort about justice for my son, justice for victims, justice for future victims, and keep LA County safe from violent crimes. I truly believe that George Gascon campaigned under false pretenses. I highly doubt he would be in office right here if people knew how he was going to dismantle the justice system by releasing violent criminals such as murderers, rapists, child abusers, when Gaston states that victims want this radical, pro-criminal agenda, he's absolutely wrong. This statement is asinine. I have not encountered one victim or victim's family that does not want the ultimate punishment for the ones that have destroyed their lives. Do I believe in reform and rehabilitation? Absolutely. But I, do I believe in releasing or reducing sentences for violent crim criminals is reform? Absolutely not. All that is doing is attracting crime in LA County. Gaston has recently stated that he's here for his victims. That's a joke, really? That's news to me. Where has he been these past five months as I fight for justice for my son? Not even a simple call. The sad truth is that he has re-victimized me and my family. That he has total, utter disregard for us victims. You, George Gascon, have put criminals before victims. I truly believe you have confused your role as a district attorney and a public defender. Today, I ask that we Angelinos come together and do what is right. Again, this is not political. This is a fight for what's right and what's wrong. You don't have to be a victim to understand the importance of this and how dangerous District, district Attorney George Gascon is for our community. I ask you, please, to sign this recall petition for not only my son, but for all of us victims and future victims out there. Please go to recallgeorgegascon.com. You can download, print, 
and sign the petition. And you can also volunteer to, call in, to collect signatures or donate if you wish. Thank you all for giving me this time today. Hello, my name is Patricia Wenskunis, and I am a leader and a victim's rights advocate in the state of California. And I am here today to be able to unite victims in Los Angeles County as well as throughout this state. We need your help and we need your support to recall George Gascon. We cannot do this alone without volunteers, without community members, without our elected officials coming forward to be able to be a voice for the voiceless, a voice for victims, a voice for survivors, a voice for law enforcement, a voice for our community here in Los Angeles County as well as throughout our state. Our victims are being re-victimized by a district attorney. That is unacceptable in this state, in throughout our nation. We cannot stand forward and just allow this to happen. He is treating victims and survivors as if they did something wrong. He is re-victimizing them day in and day out. He is treating the offenders as if they are victims, as if they are the crime survivors. The real crime survivors is here today to be able to join forces together to say, enough is enough. We will not tolerate being re-victimized by a system that is supposed to protect, supposed to provide justice to victims and their families. Look at Los Angeles County. Look at the crime rate that is going up day in and day out. It's going back to the 80s. We cannot stand by. Go to recalgeorgegascon.com, download the petition, sign the petitions, and join us to make sure that our voices matter, to make sure that victims are not re-victimized, to make sure that justice is served. We believe in restitution. We believe in accountability. We believe in justice. We also believe in rehabilitation. But you have to be rehabilitated before you're thrown back out on the streets. It's why we have more drug, more alcohol, more homeless, more crime happening day in and day out. We will not tolerate it. We will not stand by George Gascon. We ask him to step forward. We ask him to support the real innocent victims, the real innocent crime survivors, to be able to provide hope and healing to survive and to thrive. And without your help and support, we cannot achieve this. If we allow George Gascon to stay in office, what's happening in Los Angeles County is gonna happen next in Orange County, Ventura County, San Bernardino County, Riverside County, and throughout this state and throughout this nation. So if we step forward and we remove him out of office, we will set a precedent throughout this state and throughout this nation. So join us as a survivor of attempted murder, as a leader, as a crime victim advocate, and let's remove George Gascon. Thank you for your support. Please make sure that you volunteer, you give up your time, you give up your money, because when you do so, you are supporting victims. You are being a voice for the voiceless. You are supporting law enforcement. You are su supporting our community at large. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Tanya Owen, and I am the wife of Sergeant Steve Owen, who was murdered execution style on October 5th, 2016. I also happen to be the co-chair for the recall George Gascon effort. On October 15th, October 5th, 2016, my husband, Sergeant Steve Owen, who was working patrol in the city of Lancaster, responded to a 911 call of a burglary in progress. He was the first officer to arrive at the scene and he was the first to encounter what we later learned was a violent criminal. During that initial engagement, the suspect fired one round, which completely disabled my husband, knocking him back to the ground. The individual, instead of running away and getting away, he made a conscious decision to blatantly walk or run up to my husband. He stood over him and shot him three more times in the face. And then the last round, the fifth round, he shot his, uh, his bag. To me, as a retired law enforcement officer, he's clearly, sending, he's clearly sending a signal indicating that he doesn't care who gets in his way, he's gonna do whatever it takes to, to uh, get away, and it doesn't matter who gets in, gets in his way. 
if someone is capable of killing a law enforcement officer, who is he not willing to kill? We need to pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen. It is our time to act, our time to fight. We, the people, still hold the vote. It is up to us to come out here and fight aggressively against George Gascon. What I've heard from him and his underlings are just ridiculous uh, excuses, sorry excuses, for why they're doing this. They're saying that we are, they don't know where the support is coming for this recall effort. I'll tell you where it's coming from, Mr. George Gascon. This is a grassroots effort by victims, by law enforcement, because we are going to fight against him. I'm gonna tell you right now, just I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna tell Gavin Newsom, Governor uh, Gavin Newsom, your, your days are numbered. George Gascon, your days are numbered. We will have a, uh, a new election next year and someone else who is for the victims will be the head of the district attorney's office. You know, on October 7th, excuse me, on December 12th, the day George Gascon was elected to office, within minutes of being elected, he tweeted and said that any current cases that were uh, looking at the death penalty were out. He said he was no longer going to pursue the death penalty. Prior to that, Deputy District Attorney Michael Blake, who was, uh, who was in charge of my case, was actually going to take that case up to a team of Deputy District Attorneys who were going to uh, decide based on the facts if we were going to pursue the death penalty and absolutely no doubt we would have done that but after george gascon gave his edicts and new rules to his deputy district attorneys who by the way do not agree with him at all uh they were forced they were ordered to go into each of the courtrooms and state that they wanted to drop all the charges not because they wanted to but because it was the order of a uh, deputy just or deputy excuse me it was the order of George Gascon. In my particular case, uh, we have actually settled it. The individual that murdered my husband agreed to take life without the possibility of parole. And this, did, we didn't get to that place if it wasn't for the honorable judge, George Lomelli, who really fought for my family and who really fights for victims. And that is what every judge should be doing, fighting for the people that are in front of them people that have lost uh, loved, loved ones uh, as a result of murder. Listen, George Gascon is talking about uh, saying that we don't want um, rehabilitation. Of course we do. There are, there are people that can benefit from that rehabilitation. That is not what we are fighting for. What we are against are George Gascon releasing murderers, serial rapists, uh, child torturers, child molesters, we're talking about monsters that are in our society. That is what we are absolutely against. We don't need those types of people released. Um, and so at this point, what we need to do is we need everyone to participate. We need to have an aggressive campaign. We need contributions. We need volunteers. Please go to the recalgeorgegascon.com forward slash petition. Please get those petitions. Let's get them out there and let's have as many people sign. By October 27th, we need a total of 590,000 signatures. We can do this, LA. Thank you.